Welcome to part two of our STEM ecosystem deep dive. In this section, we are going to get into the software that makes the STEM system so easy to use and deploy. First off, we're gonna jump into the software that's on the Control One touch panel. This is the user interface that you're gonna interact with in the room that's gonna allow you to make phone calls and launch video conferencing. So then we're gonna jump over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up a system and deploy it and design a room. We're also gonna show you how easy it is to add a device to an existing room that you may have already created. So let's jump into it. This is the home screen of the Control One user interface. As you can see, it is a very simple layout with six different buttons. We have a video conferencing button that will allow you to enter your credentials and launch a web meeting. There's a dialer that will allow you to tie into your SIP phone system and make audio calls using your STEM microphones. The ecosystem button will allow you to design and deploy rooms. We'll get back to this in a little bit. The Stats tab gives us real-time information about all of the STEM microphones deployed in your system. It gives you usage, uptime, event logs, and even call logs, making it easy to find out the information that you might need. In the Settings tab, you can accomplish some of the easy tasks that you might need to do with your room, including scheduled restarts, scheduled testing, firmware updates, and more. The Quick Start tab allows you to add a STEM microphone to an existing room that you have designed through a simple wizard. As you can see, the Control One makes it easy to launch a call, manage your systems, or deploy a room from an easy to use interface. To set up and deploy one of your STEM microphones in the ecosystem, you can either do it from the software interface on the Control One, or if you don't have a Control One, you can do it from your computer. All you need to do is hit the IP address of one of the microphones or devices on your network. How do you find out an IP address? Well, press the plus and minus button on any of the microphones and hold it down for a few seconds and it'll actually read off the IP address for you. IP address 10.0.1.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.